Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be a comparison between CPU and GPU for 3D rendering. Here we're going to be testing Octane with different 3D samples. One of them is going to be the BMW, the Splash Cat, and all this is going to be rendering with the CPU and the GPU. On the CPU side, we have two Dual Xeon 4160. As, uh, this CPU comes from $800. You can find it for $900 on eBay, but the normal price will be $1,100. The GPUs we're using is the Titan Art, the Titan RTX, and we have two video cards here. Both of them have 24 gigs of RAM. The Titan have 24 gigs of RAM, and we're going to be seeing the comparison uh, on rendering the speed times, how uh, the CPU performs against the GPU. Most of the time, we think on the before the CPU is the best option when we think when we're doing screen rendering jobs. But actually, that's changing every day with the new technology coming from NVIDIA that use now the CUDA cores on this card. And moreover, now it's used the Tensor cores of this new video card. After CPU and GPU test and see which one is better, we're also going to be testing the NVLink because it's a new feature that this uh, new RTX video card has. The NVLink is replacing the SLI, which it will be uh, it will increase it should increase better performance when you are doing parallel perform parallel jobs. Like for example, in 3D rendering, we combine these two video cards has one, and that should give us better performance. We're going to be doing the test with the NVLink on it and without it to see what's the performance on the real world uh, applications. All the information about this case on the parsing side, you can select your own, so you can check the link below to check more at bison-tech.com. Okay, without further ado, let's jump to the benchmarks. Alright, so on the CPU and GPU test for Blender BMW benchmark, we got on the dual Xeon that uh, it finished the test on 2.56 minutes and 2.58 minutes. Uh, one Titan RTX finished the test in 1.34 minutes and the two Titans RTX it finished in 47 seconds. What means that uh, even two v one video card is better than two dual Xeon on this case. 
On the other side we have the GPU test with NVLink and without NVLink to see the real performance on 3D rendering and uh, we don't see any different on performance. The first one we get 8.55 1855 and the second was 1850 so just five points of scores it doesn't make a huge difference uh, connecting the envelinks you have to keep in mind that the envelink add a 60 dollars on top of the price of the gpus and for rendering i think it's not needed this thing is more important for your customer that use it for deep learning which you will see on the benchmarks that we did before like 15 percent better performance but for 3d rendering uh, without Envilink, we see almost the same performance that we do. Well, uh, okay, guys, well, let us know what you think about this video. What you think about the benchmark we performed here, the CPU and the GPU test. If you wanted to perform any other different kind of benchmark that help you do a workflow and to decide what's the best workstation you need. And uh, leave the comment below. Give us a like if you like this video. That really helps the channel. And I see you on the next one. Bye-bye.